Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! It is the time to look at another Lindy Hop video. Welcome folks, my name is Jamin Jackson. This is Street Smart Swing. I am your online arbiter of all things Lindy Hop and I'm excited to be scrutinizing another Strictly Finals video from one of my favorite uh, events in Europe. I've only been to this event one time and I had such a fantastic time. Uh, not so much that and it was fun teaching, but I got a chance to see other dancers from around that region who came to that event. And I think as a judge and as a dancer, that's really fun because you just don't know what you're going to see. You don't know who's talented, who's not, what's going to happen. So let's jump right into this video. And here we go. At the chase. <laughs> yeah, I love that. It's like a church. At the chase. At the chase, choir. All right, let's see who's who. Oh, Jonathan Stout and Campus Five. Man, that's one of my favorite bands in the world. I actually got involved in Lindy Hop uh, professionally because I danced to one of his versions of Dark Eyes. And I saw Jam Circle blew me away. And I was like, I'm sold. Sign you. Uh, let's see, I see Russia in the house. Okay, some familiar dancers. And I see a lot of people I don't know. That was the very short. That was short. <laughs> warm up song. Yes. All right, here we go. Vivian and Alexi. And they disappeared. And now they're back. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that too. I like that. Solon and Zuki. Right on beat, I like that. Good timing, good timing. Waiting for that one. Interesting, not a whole lot of choreography so far. This is great. Joanna and Errol. <laughs> like that, I like work. Larissa and Heiko. Yeah, I like that footwork. Yeah, 
Irani and Florian. Yeah, I like that transition. <laughs> She's like, pull him back, pull him back. Audrey and Christoph, all right. Yeah, yeah, like that foot touch. Yes, yes. <laughs> She's like, foot touch, foot touch, sweep the leg. <laughs> that was great. All right, this second round is the tough one because you can't you can't relax too much. You got to come out swinging. Yes, yeah, see, this is what I mean. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Like this couple's control. <laughs> that was great. He's dragging his partner out of there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, look at that. Okay, so let me look at what they have. I think, let's see if what they had as the winners and mine as the winners. Interesting, interesting. So let me talk about my winners versus uh, what was going on at that event. Let's see. Uh... 
first off, congratulations to all of you who put yourself out there to be, you know, judged in front of an audience. And um, I think that's terrifying. It really is. Even as a professional, just going out there knowing whatever I'm going to do, it's going to be permanent and it's going to be on the internet. Oh, that part is a little daunting every time uh, you go out there. So big salute to all of you who even went out there uh, confidently and put your ideas out there to be scrutinized. With that being said, the way I look at these competitions, I can only judge for me uh, from the perspective of three concepts. I have to look at these concepts and I talk about them all the time in each video because this is really how I judge. If every couple has these three things together, then I have to become a little bit more nuanced in my uh, assessment of what I thought uh, was the best couple. Now, of course, I got to first say, no one is neutral. I'd say 75% of Lindy Hop is subjective. There's only 25% that is objective. And uh, most people don't know that. We will all say it different ways, but that's why I say this is a big subjective opinion and no one is neutral. So we can't pretend that this is an objective thing. There is an ultimate winner and it's an ultimate loser because you didn't do this sub objective thing. These dancers can already dance. So the number one thing that I say is uh, objective is the control aspect of Lindy Hop. That means can I see uh, the leaders initiate something to the follower and the follower complete that idea. A lot of people will use different words. They'll say uh, technique. They'll use different things to describe the same thing. I simply like to say control. I look at Lindy Hop as two bodies come together to make one body and they're sharing energy at different points. So if I can see the leader initiate, do their job by just simply initiating and keeping quiet, man, they immediately go up a little higher level. If I can see the follower get their idea out there, I'm proud. It's wonderful. So there were a couple of couples uh, that really had strong control. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say the ones that I thought had the best control. Uh, I, be I believe it was Joanna and Errol, or Joanna and Errol. For me, they had the best control. He didn't look rushed at all, um, none of that. There was He had ideas in his mind. His partner was able to shine by becoming the fruition of those ideas. And I could see a complete thought when I watched them dance. They were the best to me at capturing my attention as an audience member who happens to be judging. Um, I wanted to watch them even more and wish they had more time. The, the second couple that I think had uh, really, really, really strong control was Audrey and Kristoff. Man, when, I, when they were dancing to the, the, to the groove with Jonathan Stout, I, could, I literally could see the bass line. Every single time they would move, there was this like, this pulsating rhythm visually that let me know if the music was off, they're dancing to swing music. And they're not just doing it, they are swinging hard. Not hard, but hoard. So for me, they were, it was between them and Yoan and when it comes to control. So immediately, the person who has control and they lack the other two things, they're gonna get third place. So we'll talk about third place here in a minute when it comes down to who had the closest to all three. Now, when we talk about timing, the couple that had the best timing for me was Solon and Zuki. The reason is, is because they threw in aerials and they landed them in time. <laughs> what do you think about doing an aerial in this kind of event? That is a huge risk. It's like, hey, we're gonna put ourselves out there and there's a 99% chance you're gonna fall and I'm gonna break my back, but we're still gonna do it and they nailed it. They nailed all their aerials. That's that's huge for me. So if you're gonna put aerials out there in a competition like that, you're putting yourself out there to, to really botch it, but they did. And so big shout out to that. They had some amazing control with their aerials, but they also had control with their social dancing. Not control, but timing and their social dancing. They were doing uh, certain things with the phrasing of the music that made me pay attention to the music more. That's what I mean by timing is, if I'm not a swing dance listener, can I hear a part in the music that is different than what I've been hearing the whole time? And if I can hear that, can I see a dancer exemplify what that sound is visually? And for me, aside from just dancing in the swing metronome time, 
If you can do that musically and, and make my eyes appreciate the music more, then you're, you're way up there. You're way up there. So they were, they were the best at the timing for me because of those aerials and just some of the syncopations that they were doing. This, the other couple that had some really solid timing was the first couple, Vivian and Alexi. I liked, I liked their timing. I liked their energy. They were doing this foot touch thing. Oh, I liked that. I liked that. They were, they were like touching and hitting at the same time. I think it was from a, a like a, a sugar push. Some people call it something different, but I, uh, I really liked that idea. That was cool. It was different. And, and really that would, for me, would be my, my number one, uh, category, which is creativity. I like looking for that third thing, which is creativity. So I would have had them, uh, first, on the creativity part because of that. Even though they had great timing too, uh, the creativity part was really high. And uh, so for me, here's the, here's the way it looks. So you got control, you got time, you got creativity. Who wins? How do you judge it? It's super subjective, right? Well, it's about execution of those things. All right, so the third place winner for me on execution, mainly because of their control. The timing may not have been as good at other couples, but I would say Audrey and Christoph, third place, automatically. I mean, just on their control alone, I was sold. I was like, yeah, they're, they're definitely uh, third place just because of that. Second place for me, um, this is a tough one. The second place for me was either between uh, Solen and Vivian and their partners, um, but I would give the slight ahead the, the, the slight advantage to Solan and Zuki because of the aerials. If you both have good control and you both have good timing, if someone's throwing aerials out there, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be looking at them with a higher level of appreciation because it isn't something that you can just do. Now, both of them had back problems and they couldn't do aerials, then I'm gonna be looking at other things, right? So Solan and Zuki, congrats for me. You guys got second place just on the aerials alone. So that's huge. Now, the uh, first place couple, for me, this is for me, I really appreciated uh, Joanna and Errol. Why? Well, because I'm a social dancer first. The thing that gets you into Lindy Hop is the performance part. Because when you're a newbie, you don't know anything. You just, it all looks the same. It all looks choreographed, right? So for most people, Hell's a Poppin' is what got Lindy Hop started again after all of this time being asleep in the ice like Captain America and then Frankie Manning comes out and you know spreads it around the world again and we're all here but it's all because of a video that got people excited they saw Hell's a Pop and they went out searching for the these Lindy Hop masters and we're all here because of that but the thing that keeps us in Lindy Hop isn't just the performance aspect of it it is the social dancing the, the pedestrian friendly aspect of what we do so when I see good social dancing, meaning I can see a transfer of energy, I can see incredible timing to where it almost looks choreographed and it's not, that's way better for me. But then I also like to see that creativity. And they did a few things in there that were not as creative as certain things, but they were creative enough to put them on top because their control and their timing was the best for me when I watched it. I could follow their ideas. I could see where they were going in time. They were not rushed to do that. They worked as one body, sharing energy at different points. And then every once in a while, they would throw in something different uh, with their footwork and their syncopation. So for me, congrats. I would, I would vote them super high. They would have been first place with all uh, highlighting those three concepts. Um, so great job, guys. Yeah, that was really, really, really fun to watch. and. I love that event. So if you haven't, if, you, if you're not in Lindy Hop yet and you're considering, and you're just on YouTube watching videos, thinking, man, I wish I could do that. It, you can, you can do it. It is it's a completely accessible dance form. You don't have to just take classes uh, professionally. You don't have to be a professional to do it. This is something that you can do. So if you live in that area, or maybe you know some of these dancers in your town, I would encourage you to take a class from them. They have a lot of great things to offer and you will not be disappointed because if you really love Lindy Hop, they all have some different ideas that can help uh, you mature wherever you're at on your level. Now, 
Um, if you want a head start, if you're just like, look, I, I can't wait that long, I encourage you to just check out some of my courses online. I got courses in the description where, you know, we got up to 25 to 30 courses for free to show you how we approach Lindy Hop and uh, demystify all the complexity so that when you go and you take a lesson from someone, you have context. You're like, oh, okay, this is what they mean. Or, oh, they use a different way of explaining this. Ah, this is what they mean. So we strip it out, all the complexity of it, and we bring the simplicity back so that it's street smart. You don't need to have a giant book to understand this thing, but you can look at it and go, hey, oh, oh yeah, this is, what, this is what they mean. This is what I can do to get better at it. But on top of that, you know, each week we uh, highlight new things. We want to push the art form forward, not in a way where we say, forget everything that came in the past. No, no, no. We want to add a tremendous amount of value to the art form without taking anything away from what happened in the past. So um, if you want that type of inspiration each week, I encourage you to check out our school. Online, we got a lot of students from all over the world. They all speak different languages. I only speak English, so I try to speak slowly. <laughs> to help everyone, but it is a lot of fun and opportunity for you to get new ideas. So with that being said, who do you think should have won this competition? I love judging, I'm a professional dancer and I'm a judge. So it's different for me uh, because I like to do it and I like to judge it. So you're the audience, what did you think? Who do you think should have won? I've told you my reasons and how I actually judge competitions, and I probably would have judged it the same way if I was in attendance. But I could be wrong. You may have a different standard. You may have a different perspective. Who do you think should have won? Let me know in the comments section. Uh, if I don't see you in class online, I will see you in the next reaction video. Take care.